Hello and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Hardcore. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death of our Frost Mage, where we're playing on the official uh, servers of uh, Blizzard Stitches to be precise, and we're playing a Frost Mage. All right, um, we made our way to Silithus. I did basically nothing like uh, completely out of the ordinary and. Uh, finished the western and eastern lakelands. I uh, did a few of uh, the quests there that were left over. We made it all the way to level 59, um, or nearly 59. If you take a close look, we're very, very close uh, to making that level. And the last level will therefore be done in Silithus. Silithus um, as a region was later added in the uh, classic area. The region where AQ40, AQ20, Blackfrag in general is hosted, and where the port of the Burning Crusade was over. Uh, so it was, when it released, a region that specifically targeted high end content. So there were 60 quests, repeatable stuff, uh, and of course, the faction rewards. However, that also, at that point, when it released, people were um, quite well equipped, uh, were farming Molten Core, many have progressed in Blackwing Lair, so naturally the developers wanted to make sure that the monsters here are still posing a challenge, which means their uh, abilities are a little bit stronger than normal uh, abilities, and they, at least from uh, playing through that a couple of times have a higher hit point uh, pool plus the main enemies in this desertish creatures are indeed the silicon's bugs and i do have a big respect for many of the creatures but uh, the bugs are potentially amongst uh, those who are the strongest of all creatures uh, not crowd controllable other than fear and just generally very very tough uh, to handle with <laughs> pre spell damage and healing by 11 20 intelligence <laughs> okay nice we found a new best in slot uh, shoulders close for a hundred okay all right nice all right, after a bit of research, I found out that there aren't that many better shoulders in uh, the game uh, that easily can be obtained outside of raiding. So yeah, we got some dope shoulders now. Good job. All right, I'll fast forward uh, the boring part uh, for you because we just need to grab many, many, many trash mobs here. All right, first iteration of grinding is done. Time to just get rid of a couple of items. Also get follow-up quests. So kill all of uh, the, uh, I think chargers were the names. Then uh, we killed the spiders and the scorpions. That's two quests done new quests received and you can see we're getting kind of more quests down the southern uh, part which is fine i think next up we're uh, going to farm a couple of uh, these here torture druids and then get the relic fairy of purity because that is a follow-up quest with that as well good we arrived time for us to get a couple of torture druids down these can summon uh, Ashi drones, so they are, so to speak, mind control, and can summon some of the bugs. Of course, don't want that. Yeah, we're going to stay quite a few of uh, these guys, and I'm going into the heart of uh, this establishment in order to um, do a quest for the arch druid in. Moon, well, once we've done that quest, we can 
uh, do the follow-up quest, which we already do with the Felvine, uh, the Felvine gem it is, no, shard, uh, from our last run in Dire Mall East. So that's why I'm so keen on doing it. There's essentially another reward waiting for us down the line. Good. Got the drones, got the druids. It's a lot of mana for these pulls. Good, we're moving back or further in. It's going to be interesting. It's one of those zones where a lot of people die, so we've got to be careful here. It's a big red dot. People underestimate that another drone could uh, be coming out. And I've been surprised about it. And to be fair, the high probes are of higher level than the actual druids. It's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a cheesy uh, uh, tactic that these guys are level 55 and these are 58. So if you were to do that quest on level 55, even on a level, uh, you would have orange mobs. Seven deadliest, average level 58. So yeah, people are doing it at 58, but still are dying. Heart. They, yeah, the, the spawning mechanic, that's indeed hard. And I already mentioned how tough um, the silicate uh, bugs can be. So we got to take it nice and slow. Singapore, are these, by the way, humans? No, they are even considered undead. So can't even cheat them. What a nice little port is that, eh? Can't crowd control anything in here, and they are spawning further bugs that, mind you, I cannot crowd control either. Yeah, and every single one of uh, these guys is essentially a double pull. They pull with uh, another iteration afterwards, so yeah, we gotta be really careful. Pretty sure we need to go into that central building uh, for the other quests that we're looking for. And funnily enough, so far every single one of them has spawned. Nah, no, I, I shouldn't say that. One did not. All but one has spawned in uh, Ashi. So by now we can assume that is going to happen. Let me just clear the rest here and fast forward for you guys. Good, we cleared out uh, the central room and all we need to do is loot this container, then go back to Moonglade and essentially uh, trade it in as well as the follow-up quest. So that's good, I like it. Uh, time for us to nonetheless clear out the remaining sentinels, make sure that we're keeping the door here nice and wide open so that we don't need, uh, need to deal with the situation that we can't run out. So I'll make sure that we can escape route and just overall deal with uh, the harsh high drones. So I'll fast forward the rest for you guys. Next up on our menu is a big fat portion of grind again as we're killing a couple of these scorpions and then uh, the upgraded chargers as well, both of uh, them. So the chargers 20 and the scorpions as many as it takes to get three of their pier uh, pierces. Uh, I was lucky there. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than that. So I'll fast forward to the group of grind. All right, trade in of one of uh, the intermediary quests here. Let's see if we get to that guy and he gave us a quest uh, scoring the desert. Where's that? Ah, never mind, that's a PvP quest. That's a PvP quest. Yeah, not happening. Nice, but no. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll continue the grind. Good. We moved a little bit further uh, this time to Paltus Camp. What we need to do here is get the secret communication uh, up. In order to do that, we will need to find a lot of twilight Paltus in order to get encrypted. Uh, in order to use 
uh, if you uh, get a full set of their robes and stuff, you can very much uh, some of this uh, uh, here. But we would don't want to do that. We're alone and we have a part of set. So we uh, are doing at the moment is grinding a very small um, set of reputation. And there you can see Twilight said he stole some with That is that. Um, yeah, so we're going to grind uh, through this and I'll fast forward it for you guys. All right, so we have collected all of uh, the texts from the cultists that was yet to run. In terms of quests, we need to finish the dredge crushers. The cultist camp had a recipe for crusher meat, uh, which seems to source the, the sandworm meat that is, which seems to be going quite well. And, um, the ki uh, kitchen chef has even asked us to prepare uh, 10 of the sandworm meat, seven of which I've already done, found an eight swarm, so it's kind of a double dip, as these uh, things here uh, do some, uh, something for a cooking quest, which is rather rare, and are also uh, a quest by themselves. So that's what we're currently doing. As you can see, uh, the Silithus initial quests are almost all quite grindy in a sense. Um, I've been substantially warned by several guildmates in Silithus to not go into any of uh, the uh, hives here, uh, the other dungeons uh, that is, uh, as this place is ultra dangerous from a hardcore player perspective. So just giving you some context of what I've been told. Uh, we are going to finish the uh, dredge crushers here. Uh, I'll get two more meat and then I think we're going to cook and that should give us quite a few trade-ins actually. So let's do that next. Good, we're back. All we need to do is uh, cook the delicious sandstorm uh, meat and then we're good to go I think. So three of these smoked desert dumplings very good so we got a couple of quests to trade in including those smoked desert dumplings uh, which might even get us to almost 50 percent so for starters step up the security yep very nice 100 reputation secondly innkeeper needed kitchen assistance not bad either. 3,000 experience, a little bit low, I shall say, but we got a recipe out of it, and yeah, it's okay. It's fine. And then we got something right over here. Secret communication, oh yeah, those were the twilight texts and they are repeatable, but yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, matter of fact, I think we got quite a lot done. A humble offering we cannot do yet because we're not 60. Summon the Lord using a full uh, set. I got the full set uh, right here from grinding them, but you need to be level 60 in order to even equip that, which means we only got the twilight uh, mystery left and the spirits of soul weep i think we're going to hand in the spirits of the uh, uh, south wind first and then we're going to do the twilight mystery and then pretty much at that point where we are more or less out of quests uh, the game is known or classic uh, is very much known uh, for not having enough quests for the amount of leveling that you need to do so grinding always had been uh, 
um, an accepted uh, concept. I think the developers thought it'll be um, dungeon crawling in between and you get just enough uh, quests. So even if you do the group quests, which mind you, I oftentimes could not do, uh, you are still short uh, just on the quest experience and the normal kills that you need to do. There's always grinding involved. Let me tread uh, in this and then we might do that and uh, leave Silithus for now. Oh no, we got two more in Moonwell, so we should definitely trade those in as well. Very good. So, trading this in. <clears throat> Hive in the tower. Okay, so that means we would need to get right back in here. Should have done that earlier, man. But we can still do it. It's just going to require us to grind back into the tower there. Alright, so we got a couple of uh, rather unpleasant enemies uh, there. Twilight Marauders. You do not want to get uh, swarmed by them. Leader is a Twilight uh, Marauder Elite, and then you do have like 10 others. Gotta be really careful with these guys. Okay, so we're at the tower. Uh, that's where the first double pulls are now starting. Which Uh, their particular uh, spawning ability is really fun to do. Down, both slowed, and we're going to kite them a little bit further. out and unleash them just needing to make sure that these marauders are not uh, coming again okay good not sure if these guys are uh, going to stay in the tower or not we're going to find out I suppose all right it just so happens that uh, the guys are staying at the corpse where they had been produced which is okay, we can solve it with that one. It was the right decision not to uh, fight them fiercely, but instead yeah, kill them individually. Much easier that way. Okay, we're going into the tower. are the last little bits that we can do all by ourselves. That's what you want to see. Immediately attacked by three drones. them back in. All right, didn't want to use my mana gem, but I had to. 
Okay. Well, yeah. Apparently, uh, the tower is a little bit cursed. I was warned not to go deeply into those places. And yeah, these guys are the second deadliest in Silphus, which means that that particular encounter must have killed quite a few um, of my fellow adventurers. That's exactly why I'm always going in with full mana in these places, being extra careful. Because that way you can more easily survive such an ambush. Not a surprise, not a uh, surprise. So falling our way down, we're just going to get out of here. <coughs> Very good. Get the encrusted object. Or not. Are you kidding me? I did not get it. Okay. It's like that. Um, so it was a trap and you just had to deal with it. I thought I was easily out of there, but apparently I was wrong. All right, let me get in back. Okay, we re-cleared the entire initial area. It's just really annoying. the nice kiting that I can do here not happening up there oh wow that's going to be a rough one not the first time uh, that I've been fighting against three mobs but Three mobs on top of a building. Mm. That's not great. Good. We will go in with absolute full mana. And a cooldown, another cooldown on Ice Barrier. That's another 830 hit points. This time, get the object. Likely not. It's just two ambushers. I was over the Or not. 
There's the third one. Fan of face tanking them. And there's another ambusher. Yeah. Screw this, I'm out. Ambushers have a chance to give me the object. Okay, got you. So, effectively, I did the right thing, but the ambusher is up there. Let me guess, these are the number one? No. I was uh, thinking they might be the number one deadliest, but apparently there's something even more deadly than uh, these high fashy drones. Uh, that was a rather painful quest. Let's trade it back in. There we go. Okay, in the village of Nighthaven, Moonblade. Fantastic. That's yet another Moonblade quest, so that's the third one. I am thinking about uh, handing in uh, the Brand Bone Spirit's Lost Letter, but that will potentially just be a follow-up quest. So maybe we'll do this quest, then hand it back in, then ride down here and teleport to the Moonblade because we have effectively three quests there. Let's do exactly that. Good worry are in the north, uh, right here, a couple of elementals are here, desert rumblers, and that's pretty much it. Um, it seems to be a location where one, uh, where the seldom situation happens that someone is actually farming something. Uh, the server typically is quite barren in the end game, uh, outside of instances and so on, but apparently these things are dropping something or are easy to farm aoe farm as a mage be it as it may i saw a no mage doing that which makes our quests even easier all we need to do is collect uh, eight of these tablets and uh, profit there is a little no mage give him a nice little ha uh, wave and a cheer and uh, off he goes Good, let me collect the rest and then we'll trade it in. All right, we're back in the camp. Let's trade in our quest. Twilight Mystery, there we go. And where do we need to take it? The Deserter, where is that? In Silithus. Okay. Hermit or Tail. Are we looking? No. Oh, all the way there. No, okay. Well, why not? Let's do it. Okay. Well, what kind of surprise does Hermit or Tail have for us? wants us to collect three chapters, Twilight Lexicon. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. Chapter 3 there. Chapter 2 there. And Chapter 1 up there. Okay, interesting. All right, trading in the letter request.
Well, no, we're not going to search for any artifacts in any of the hives. Uh, just forget about that, period. There's a satchel, apparently, somewhere up here. But please don't tell me that it is a cave. In which case, thank you, but no thank you. That's where the satchel is at. If these guys are moving far enough away, then good. If not, see you later. Not sure if this can be considered far enough away. Number one deadliest in Silithus. All right. I'll not take any chances with that. We found our number one, the guy who is deadlier than anyone else. Paralyzing poison stuns an enemy, rendering them unable to move or attack for eight seconds. Okay, good. Yeah, I can definitely see why this guy is holding the top spot. What I cannot see yet is whether or not we can get the satchel without attacking him. I'll find that out soon, online, before we're doing it, of course. <laughs> 